I was watching <clears throat> Blackbird yeah. by myself. Ooh. And I love dark shit. I love, you know, look at me hard. I can't hard. tell. Yeah, yeah, geez Louise. And I was just enamored. I was so... I, look, I'm not blowing smoke. I, I tell everybody and their mother, they've got to see it, if nothing else, for your performance. Oh, thanks, because man. it's just like... You can't take your eyes. And I remember the first time you open your mouth as uh, Hall. Larry. Larry yeah. Hall, the serial killer, right? Yeah. Yes. Because um, something said, like, in Wiki, it's a suspected serial killer. I guess in the story, he's just suspected. Yeah. And then they figure it out. But I watched this performance, and you do. It's it's so it's so unlike you. I mean, it's the... It, That's like nice. the <laughs> It it's is. good to know. I, well, I know you're not a serial killer, but no, I'm, no, I I'm know saying your mean. mannerisms, yeah. your voice. I've never heard this. Or maybe I have, but seldom from an actor. <clears throat> I don't know what you did, but you would be talking to Egerton, right? Yeah. And yeah. you'd be having a scene with him and you'd go, your voice would go up and it would sort of go down. So you go, well, yesterday when you were telling me that you had, and I was like, what is he doing? And I couldn't stop listening to you. You know what I'm talking about? It's the yeah. voice and the and it the draws vulnerable. you in a little bit. And it was kind of sad, and you didn't want to like him, but you kind of weirdly were starting to, and until things started to unravel, I was I was just blown away. I thanks, thank you, man. I think, uh, yeah, Ter man, Taryn Edgerton. I I always say I'm like he's a really good dance partner. Like yes. sometimes you just get blessed with a co-star who you're doing the majority of your the bulk of your work with and it's mm -hmm. like hell yeah uh he's one of those hell yeah guys um but i i yeah i try to get uber specific and just try to make it honest and um and not you know crazy my brother when i did the movie itania my brother matt um he he was with me on a leg of the press tour for that. I, or at least he went to the Love that, too. New that York great. premiere. Great. Oh, great. Dope movie. Just a cool well, movie. Un unexpected. Yeah. Like I was like, all right, let's go see 100%. this. And I was like, right. It was really, well, you know, the, the first time I read that script, uh, I was, I was in Canada doing a pilot for lifetime with a bunch of, bunch of cool people. And you know, the show was just okay. Not something you'd be like, I got to tell you about the show I'm on, but the people were like fun and we're having a great time up there. And I'm feeling so blessed and spoiled to have this type of a gig series regular. They're paying me decent, even though I've got like nine lines in the pilot. Right. Like, it's so easy, I love but, it. but I'm there and I get the offer for the audition on I, Tanya. Um, Cause I think Josh Gad had the role, but then he got busy with Brano's uh, train movie, the murder on the Orient express uh. murder on the Asian express. Yeah, you can't say that. Kenneth Branagh, Jeez, fucking asshole. What are you thinking, man? Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> but so I, that, I'm yeah. like prepping for the audition. I'm reading the script, and I'm laughing my ass off the first time I read it. It feels almost like a Christopher Guest movie yeah, or something. Yes. And I'm like a psychotic Christopher Guest fan. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to have Michael McKeon on. Oh, stop. Of, yeah. Stop. He, he was on Smallville, too. He was, he was great. I love him. Oh, he's We've been so emailing good. back. If he's like, yes, I'm coming. I figure it out. But go ahead. Um. But I, the second time I read it, I wasn't laughing. It read more like a David O. Russell thing where I'm like, these are broken people who are bleeding all over the place type of thing. And, and I was like, well, that's kind of a good sign. If one made me laugh and the other almost made me cry just on separate reads. And I'm like, this is a cool movie. But then when you're doing it, you never, you never know, you know, you, you never know. know. Wait, you know. why was I talking about Because that? you were getting to Blackbird. Blackbird. Um, because you're uh you, oh, you oh crazy people don't know they're crazy so my brother said to me on that leg of the tour or whatever he was like you know crazy people my character and i tanya sean eckhart he's like crazy people don't know they're crazy and that's what's so scary about crazy people because we're all capable of doing something crazy and right. most of us have but <laughs> this <laughs> idea that you don't know you're crazy like that's crazy that's scary so with, with larry hall i just had to really own that crazy and not be not let the audience think that i'm cognizant of it and yet he's emotionally manipulative for sure and that is what the audience clues in on a little bit and they're like okay well i was almost starting to like this weirdo so long as i don't have to stand next to him <laughs> and then uh and then it's like okay now 
Now I think he might be messed up. Oh, he's me- oh he's that messed up. Oh, I hate this guy. Kill this guy. Yeah. And then, of course, we, the audience, feel what Taryn feels in episode. But it six. was an arc. It was just uh, you yeah. had to get there. It wasn't just. And I always say this: it's like you know, if you're going to play the bad guy, yeah, you gotta because bad guys normally aren't trying to be hated. They're no. you know they're <laughs> trying to get what they want. Yeah, they're trying to you know they're manipulative. They're psychotic. They're uh, narcissists. They're whatever it is. Um, but yeah, that that was incredible. I always think that the best villains in stories, or at least talking movies, TV, are the ones who spell out what it is they're trying to do. <clears throat> they'll they'll actually give you a verbal peek behind the curtain as to what what's making this what the engine of thought is. So like Heath Ledger when he's burning the money, and he's like, it's in Dark Knight. He's like, it's not about the money, and like uh, Christoph Waltz in the opening of Inglorious Bastards, where he's like. Let me let me explain how I see the Jews or whatever. Like knowing the mind behind it is so it's such an intimate thing for an audience to clue in on, and it makes you hate the person even more. And it's and I feel like we yeah. did that in, in episode four or five. We start to really flirt with knowing why Larry did what he did. And then it's like, oh, to this extent, oh, did somebody kill this guy? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All the great villains, you get a peek. I think. Yeah, it's almost like they're like this, but this is what I believe. Chris, Christopher Waltz. What does he? How does he sound? I don't know. I've never done for Christopher Waltz. I don't know, but I know he does this thing where <laughs> he talks about Quentin Tarantino. That's it. That's it. Yeah, Off the cuff. Yeah.